Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson, and we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Aston Villa up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game, and that, for me, is the area that's key today. Number six, Douglas Lewis. Number seven, John McGinn. Number 11, Ollie Watkins. And number 20, Danny Ames. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Well, it's a 4-4-2 with a midfield diamond, and key to this shape will be the players either side of that diamond. When in possession, they'll go wider to give the team width. When they're defending, they'll tuck back in. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Well, I'm intrigued to see how their two midfield players cope in there today because they look very isolated. Yes, they're good athletes and skillful players, but it's asking an awful lot of them. And so the match is underway. Kulusevski. And the cross is very much on. Well, they couldn't keep it. I must say, this looks promising. Decent position. Just couldn't capitalise there. Romero. Bentancur with it. Davis. Matt Doherty. Well, we're focusing on a player who just seems to get better and better, Hyung Min Son. What do you expect to see from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, I'm sure he's going to be tightly marked today because in the last match, he was outstanding. He got his two goals, but it was his general play that was brilliant. And I'm sure we're going to see more of the same today. Watkins. Here's Danny Ings. McGinn. Coutinho. Well, they couldn't make anything of that cross with the ball in a decent enough position. Harry Kane. And as a defender, you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door as he did then. McGinn. to your players waiting in the middle good tackle it'll be a throw really getting stuck in and good pressure high up the pitch oh a lovely ball the cross was very much on but not the end result they were hoping for Bentancur. Now Harry Kane. Hoybier. Now let's see what they can do here. Son. And a tidy challenge. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Oh, surely! Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Go, go, go. 
and deciding to go short with this one losing possession a bit easily Watkins well those stats tell you everything a tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action both teams need to get more players forward if they're to pose a real threat and a good looking pass and a useful cross and clears his lines difficult to stop him must be oh wonderful save well he reacts so quickly there that's a great save Delivering the corner, Coutinho. Oh, a disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. Bentancourt. And Hoybier with it. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Opportunity, Kay! And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Harry Kane has done it. The first goal of the contest here. Well, here it is again. And credit to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Half here. Well, it was an agreeable first half display from Harry Kane. Stuart, your thoughts? So the second half underway, with Spurs looking to build upon a largely positive first half performance. Douglas Luiz read it magnificently and intercepted Spurs get the advantage from the referee Harry Kane Dejan Kulusevski now will they be able to play it in behind the defence they're trying to take their time but not enough care on the ball and the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack Tidy in possession. Emerson. Emerson. Given away by Tottenham. Coutinho. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? But nothing comes of it. And into the last 30 minutes now. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. Possession changing hands. Douglas Luis. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. And he whips it in. Well, not cleared away completely. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Steven Bergwijn 
and Hoybier with it. Now, what can they do from here? Opportunity, and the goal is his. They lead by two now, fully deserved. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish, but the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. Could cross it in here. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Coutinho. Douglas Luiz. John McGinn. And he stopped them in their tracks. Kane. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Harry Kane. Pulls it back. Marvellous anticipation. Coutinho. There to take it away. So the final whistle almost upon us, and this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, I think they've been a bit unlucky today. They certainly haven't been two goals worse than their opponents, but in key moments, they've just been found wanting, particularly defensively. Javier made it a bit too easy for his opponent. But no damage done, that's the main thing. Could be a chance to break here. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Ramsey has it. Takes the shot. And the ball is loose. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. And the referee says that's going to do it for this contest. It is a Spurs success story. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. There's a reason why our cameras have closed in on Steven Bergwijn, Stuart. What did you make of the part he played today? Well, it's a good performance.